Tell us, uh, what do you remember from going to Texas a and two years ago, and just what kind of challenges are going to be to play out there? We know it's a very large state, of course, you know, it's going to be crazy because of the time, but you know, there's a toxic environment, you know, very tough environment to play in, but you know, uh, it's going to be type of mental focus and the right mindset going to the game, that would be for sure. Nick Kelly? Hey Dallas, uh, I think you mentioned in um, fall camp about how your conversations with Will Anderson. You talked about just hey, you know, relax and, and be comfortable and, and be confident, kind of thing. Um, wh how, in what ways do you think you've seen uh, just maybe that taking that pressure off yourself has helped you this season? I mean, I feel like I always try and go into the game with no pressure. But, you know, of course, at the beginning of the season, there's going to be some type of anxiety and stuff like that. But you know, it's just, you just got to go out there and have fun with your guys for real. Back with Brian. So much of this season is adversity up and down. What's the confidence of this defense now? It seems like you guys are really starting to click at the right time. I mean, I feel like more importantly as a defense, we're starting to come together, uh, you know, start to bond and you know, play for each other, instead of playing for ourselves. But, you know, um, it's a lot of good things starting to happen. You know, a lot of things, a lot of good things starting to come together as well as the defense. On the right, Charlie. Coach Saban just talked about Jeremiah Alexander you know, moving the inside backer. Just what have you seen from him and working with him with the outside guys? I mean, you know, I've been around Jeremiah since he's been here before he got here. But, you know, he's a very smart football player. He's a very invested his time into, you know, being here at the facility and you know, just understanding the playbook. You know, he's, uh, he's starting to have to change about playing his songs, I think, and stuff. And I said, you know, which, you know, I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be able to fail and do a need and stuff like that, which I feel like he'll be a good fit for the So, you know, just a sharp person to Tony. Kind of on that, as an edge rusher yourself, can you imagine yourself moving to inside linebacker? And what do you think the challenges of that would be? I mean, I'm an athlete, so I feel like I'm no problem. So, you know, I feel like I'm smart enough to do uh, to show my versatility and you know, stat back and play off the ball. So, you know, just for the ball. Katie, on the left. What was uh, Brad's pick six kind of like in your? Uh, Vantage point that you know he had the pick six. Will have one last year. You had the scoop and score. What's up with outside linebackers and the nose from the end zone? Man, yeah, so we outside back is the best room in the building. So you know we say that all the time. So you know, uh, seeing him go return that interception, you know I was I actually was laughing when he was running down because I couldn't believe my eyes that he actually got the pick six and scored. But you know it was a very fun moment, you know, especially as a teammate to see him. The back of Jacob. Hey Dallas, do you feel like there's an extra sense of urgency with Texas A&M this week? I mean, you know, we just want to treat it like every other week. You know, uh, it's not going to be our first away game, so you know, we know the type of environment we're going into. For, you know, people that was here uh, two years ago, you know, we also know we experience what type of environment it's going to be. So you know, it's going to be a very tough environment, but you know, we're going to treat it like every other week. Though. No problem, Nick Kelly. Yeah, did you and Will ever have any uh, friendly competitions, and if so, what what were those? Uh, yeah, I mean, I would try, but you know, Will being Will, you know, it's, it, he gonna get it every time. But you know, uh, of course, last year, you know, there will always be some, some type of competition about who gonna get back there first, you know, who gonna probably get a sack first in the game or something like that. But you know, uh, I just, at the end of the day, we always like to see each other shine. So, you know, not to see each other the right way. Anything else? Last one, Nick. Quick question about Jalen Milrow. Uh, how have you seen him grow? His first start was Texas A&M last year. How have you seen him grow from that game until this game? Uh, you know, uh, Jalen, he's growing very fast. You know, he's growing every week, in my opinion. But, you know, I feel like uh, to see him grow, you know, I can't know him. So, you know, just to see him grow from when I first met him to now, it's just, it's just something that's that's very good to see. You know, he, he invests a lot of time and putting a lot of work to get where he's at now. So, you know, just put a smile on my face and just to see him where he's at. Thanks, Dallas.